Hi everyone, Diabolic again. Dexcon 10, East Brunswick, New Jersey. Sunday, still. I'm here with Steve. He is with Dragon Dice and SFR. SFR is our company. Dragon right. Dice is our product. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Dragon Dice. Well, Dragon Dice is a collectible dice game. Right now, it's the only game of its type on the market. Uh, originally, it was produced back in uh, 1995 by TSR, but as many gamers know, TSR, Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro, all of that, they were getting ready, ready to give up on the game, and so uh, a small group of people bought the game from Hasbro. Uh, I got on board a few years later, and we're trying to uh, revive the game. There are a lot of old-time players who knew it and loved it, and we're trying to get new players on board as well. Okay. Can you give us a little overview on what you do in a game? Sure. When you're playing a game of Dragon Dice, everything's done with dice. It's a very unique game. The dice are not only your random element, they're also your playing pieces. So some of the dice are your army, your, your characters, your monsters, and your army. Other dice are your terrain dice, and the object of the game is to take those terrain dice and capture them by moving them up to their last face. Uh, there are other drag, uh, dice that are dragons, and if you get a dragon summoned into the game with a magic spell, the dragon kind of basically wreaks havoc on everybody. There are a lot of different expansions that bring in other dice. There are a variety of races. We have dwarves, we have goblins, we have different kinds of elves, undead, some of the ones that you would expect. We also have races that uh, have been invented for the game, like the frost rakes, who are flying uh, cat-like creatures, and the skullfish who are little fire, fiery little gnomes and imps. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And, um, we think people, it can be played fairly quickly. You can scale the game to small or large. So you want a quick game, you play with small armies, you can play a game in 15 minutes or a half hour. If you like big armies and rolling lots of dice, get yourself a lot of dice. Be prepared that it's going to take a little longer, but you can roll as many dice as you want in this game. So if you love dice, you're going to love this game. Now, I, now I've seen the demo, I played the demo. The dice aren't normal dice. They no. have, they're not, you know, a six-sided, well, they, I'll rephrase. They are six-sided or 20-sided or whatever, but they don't have the numbers on them. Correct. We have our own icons because when you're playing the game, you're not looking for numbers. You're looking for particular actions. In different phases of the game, you'll be doing magic actions, trying to cast magic, uh, missile action where you're trying to shoot your opponent, melee where you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and the icons on the dice represent those different actions. For instance, one of my favorite races is the dwarves. So when you look at a dwarf die, it would have axes on it for its melee combat phase, little crossbows for missile, uh, sparkly amulets for their magic. And when you're rolling the dice, you're looking for these icons, uh, rather than looking for a particular number that you're trying to roll. Now you guys said, well you mentioned, uh, expansions. How does an expansion work compared to a base set? Well the base set gives you the basic game where you're gonna, you have your, your army, your unit, what we call the units. You have your terrains and you have your dragons. When you buy other races, in what we call the kicker packs, they give you the, the army units. But the expansions add new kinds of dice. For instance, we have uh, smaller terrains called minor terrains, which allow you possibly to do an action other than the one that's on the terrain die, which is normally your limitation. You get the dragon kin, which you can summon in with magic to help protect your army. Uh, you can have magic items like magic swords and magic arrows in the expansion. We also have larger dice uh, that are uh, bigger, tougher to kill, have a lot of special uh, actions that they can do, and uh, just bring a whole another flavor to the game when you add them in. Okay. Now I know you guys right now, while we're doing this interview, you guys are doing your national championship? Correct. Want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. National championship, uh, we're running it with double exposure, uh, cooper in cooperation with them. It's a, uh, hopefully a big tournament. Uh, we would like to see it get bigger every year. Uh, the national champion will have will uh, get a trophy, and the person who will be national champion will be recognized as, you know, someone who has won a major tournament. We're hoping that over the years we can build this up to something big. Our biggest event, of course, is the World Championships, but they're held at Gen Con uh, every year, so. Okay. Um, now, what's it take to get into the nationals and then into the All world? Right. The national championship, you have to either have won a regional championship, or you have to play in a qualifier. We had two qualifying rounds yesterday. So the people who are up there today are our regional champions and our, our qualifiers from this day. World Championship, they run their own qualifiers at the World Championship. So even if you've never had a chance to play it during the year, if you go to Gen Con, you can qualify right there for the World Championship. You have to go through 
several layers of qualifying, and then the people who do that get into the final, which is usually the last day of the convention. Uh, by then, you've narrowed it down to four players, which makes it a very intense uh, competition, and uh, the winner takes all. Last year's world champion just happened to be my son, so. <laughs> Do you have any influence in that? I was actually shocked. <laughs> I was work, I was at, I was out uh, doing demos at the at our booth, and my son comes by. He goes, "Hey, Dad, guess who won the world championship?" I'm like, uh, "Brad, no. Uh, J J uh, John, no. Who? You? You got to be kidding!" <laughs> oh, cool. And is he playing in this? He's playing in the nationals upstairs right now. He was the youngest world champion. He was only 15 when he won the world championship. Do you guys, I know a lot of games, especially collectible card games, will do a vendor, I don't know exactly what they would call it, kind of like the DCI does a Friday Night Magic and they support the game like that. Are you guys looking at doing something or do you have something like that set up for retailers? We're looking to set up for retailers uh, what we call a rep system where we would have people who are local who will come into your store who will do demos or who will run toward a local tournament events. Uh, we're in the process of setting that up now. We have a, a coordinator who's handling all of that for us, and we have a, had a number of volunteers already get in on this. And so what we're hoping to do is get people who will come into your store who will demo the game when you have special events or on a Saturday, uh, who will come in and run tournaments of the various, we have multiple kinds of tournaments. We have champions, we call championship format, uh, which is a 36 health army. We scale our armies by health size. Not an unfamiliar concept, I'm sure, to many of you. Mm. Watchers. Uh, we have a Battle Fest, which is a bigger health army. We have Sealed Box, where you, know, you take the dice you get, and that's what you got to play with. And we're hoping to get our reps doing this on a local level uh, and a regional level for us. Okay. Now, where can someone find Dragon Dice if their local retailer isn't carrying it? If your local retailer isn't carrying it, my, my, my job for the company is I want to get it out to the retailer. So if your local retailer is not carrying it, first, nag your retailer. Tell them they need this game. Okay. But if they can't, they can go to our website, which is uh, www.sfr-inc.com. See and, it on the uh, bottom? See it? Uh, uh, we added it just for you. And uh, we do sell the dice there as well. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. It was nice meeting you. Thank you, and it was a pleasure talking to you. Ha, 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 ha.